we have 68 divided by 2. So we have 6 tens and 8 units, and we're going to divide those into two groups. And today, we're going to learn how to use short division. So we start by dividing our 6 tens by 2. So if we share out those 6 tens, we have 3 tens in each group because 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now we can divide our 8 units by 2. So if we share out those 8 units, we now have 4 units in each group because 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 68 divided by 2 equals 34. Now let's solve 72 divided by 3 using short division. So we start by dividing our 7 tens by 3. So if we share out our 7 tens, we now have 2 in each group, and we can't share out our 7th 10, because with division, we need to share equally. So 7 divided by 3 is 2 remainder 1. So we can write 2 above our tens column, because each group has 2 tens. And what are we going to do with our 1 remaining 10? We can regroup our 10 to make 10 units, or exchange our 10 for 10 units. So now we have 12 units, so we can write our 1 remainder from dividing 7 by 3 in front of our units because we've exchanged it for 10 units. So now we have 12 units to divide by 3. So let's share out our units. And we now have 4 units in each group, because 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 72 divided by 3 is 24. Now we have 123 divided by 3, and we can answer this question using short division. So with short division, we always start with our highest place value digit, so we start with our 100 but we can't share out our 100, because with division, we need to share equally. So we have 0 hundreds, because 1 divided by 3 is 0 remainder 1. So what can we do with this remaining 100? We can regroup it as 10 tens or exchange a hundred for ten tens. So what do we need to write in our short division? We need to move our one remaining hundred in front of our tens, because we've exchanged it for ten tens, and since we had two tens to start with, that's given us twelve tens. So now, let's share out those 12 tens. So now we have 4 tens in each group. So what do we need to do next? We need to write 4 above our tens, because we had 12 tens, and divided by 3 to get 4 tens. 
So now we can divide our three units. So if we share out those units, we have one unit in each group because three divided by three is one. So 123 divided by three is 41. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 96 divided by 4 using short division. So we start with 9 tens divided by 4. So let's share out those 9 tens between 4 groups. We now have 2 tens in each group and one that we can't share out because with division we need to share equally. So 9 divided by 4 is 2 remainder 1. So we can write 2 above our tens because we have 2 tens in each group and what can we do with our one remaining ten? We can exchange our remaining 10 for 10 units. So we can write a 1 in front of our 6 because we now have 16 units to share out. So let's share out those 16 units. So now we have 4 units in each group because 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 96 divided by 4 equals 24.